Hello and welcome. So with the increasing number of people working from home, we have people all over the globe using our services from our company legitimately. But there are some countries that we do want to block access to. So we might have a list of, say, five countries that we have active workers in, but we want to make sure that nobody else from any other country can access those resources regardless of whoever they are. So this is how we do it. So firstly, we are in the Azure portal and we're in the Active Directory section, as you can see here. What we want to do is, first of all, we're going to tell Azure what countries we are going to allow access from. And then we're going to put a conditional access policy in place to stop anybody that is not in one of those countries from gaining access to any of these resources. So how we do that is we go down here and we can go down to the security section and I'm going to go to named locations. Now you might recall earlier we had the Talisoft office, which is a trusted location, particular IP address, but we want to go a bit further than that. So we're going to set up a new location here and this is going to be uh, we could call it block non Talisoft countries. I think I might call this one just Talisoft countries. We'll call the policy Talisoft countries and we'll put that countries in here and we know that we are active in we are in Australia we're going to put I think we'll put in New Zealand for fun we have Singapore and we have United Kingdom and United States just here. So we'll create that one. And we have, as you can see, Talisoft countries. Very, very simple to do. No issue with that at all. So now what we do is we'll put a conditional access policy in place. And you can see we've got the MFA enforced one as we had beforehand. We're going to keep that. That will work in, in conjunction with this one quite nicely. But what we'll do here is we're going to add a new policy in here. And we'll call this one block non Talisoft countries. So quite simply, we'll go down our list here and I'll just briefly go through what they really mean and the settings that we want to be able to change on these. So first of all, users and groups, we are going to put it for all users as a test to start off with. We will just put it to our little test group, which is our MFA enforced test, which is our little test candidate, Mr. Peter Gibbons. Once we've finished, I'll let you come back and you can apply this to all users. And that is an important step. Obviously, you do need to be doing that. So we'll select just the MFA enforced. Now, the reason we just tested on a small group of people um, to start with, obviously, we don't want to make a mistake with our policy and unwittingly block everybody from the entire system which would be probably be pretty bad, I would say. Now, let's go to the cloud apps and we're going to say all cloud apps. Every application there and the conditions. So this is where the interesting one here is. I'm not particularly interested in the sign in risk or the device platforms we're coming from. It, we're not going to configure those. What I'm interested in here is locations. So we will configure a location and we will include any location in this particular policy. And what we're going to do is we're going to exclude the selected locations, which we have here, Talisoft countries, because this is a blocking policy. So it's more of an exclusion policy rather than an inclusion policy. And you'll see what I'm talking about as we come to the end. So we are going to exclude all of the Talisoft countries that we want to, to be aware of and client apps and device state. I'm not worried about those ones there. So when we come to the grant section here, we want to be blocking access as you can see here. And we'll just say block and don't need to worry about that. Select that. And once again, sessions controls, not interested in that, not a problem at all. And we will say enable the policy and we will carry on from there. In fact, that's not letting me save it. So what we will need to do is just, I wonder why that is the case. Block access, select, there we go. 
that's a common thing you'll find with most Azure things is you have to make sure you select those items and then you can carry on with the with the selections and there we have our create so we can see we've now got the block non talisoft countries in place it does take a few minutes to take effect but relatively quickly it should be uh, in place for us so to test things out for Peter, what we're going to do is leave him in the US for now and we'll go straight into the 365 portal and log him in as normal, just clicking on his name there and put his password in, which will then give me the prompt on the mobile device to approve, which I will do so there. And you'll see that he will jump straight into his applications of normal, which is exactly what we need to happen. So now let's just sign him out and close that down now what we're going to do is send him to a country he's not allowed to work from which in this case we'll say hungary you can see that's connecting there so once we're connected i will now jump back into a browser and just show on the ip location that he is in fact in hungary and you can see that with that ip address there of 185 he is in budapest so now let's go to the portal and try and log him in from Budapest. And let's just put his password in, like so. And instead of being told that he's in a country he's not allowed to be in, he's just been told that his criteria for access to that resource has not been met, he's not successful, rather than being told that fact. We don't really want to alert him to the fact that he is actually in the wrong country. So what we'll do now though, is we will close that out. Let's send him to a country that um, he is allowed to work from. Let's send him to Australia. There we go. And now once into Australia, we can just do a quick check, make sure he is in fact there. And we can see that he's been sent to Perth in Western Australia with a 45.248 IP address. Let's just jump into the portal now. And very quickly, we can log him in again, just to make sure that he's allowed to work from there. So log on his name. And I have password entry. I should get the notification on my device. There we go approve that and there you'll see he has full access from Australia so thanks for watching um, please subscribe to the channel always appreciate it when you do that and any comments or questions please fire them at me as well through the through the comment section always happy to answer those too so uh, with that please do have a very good